Blacklock Points in Oregon. We just did a two mile hike all the way up to the coast here from more inland parking lots. Um, then we got another two miles back, but we made a little bit of a, mis of a mistake. So we made it to this really cool viewpoint, but the one I really wanted to go to is all the way down there. And it's a little bit too far to get to right now. And the, the moral of the story is do your research thoroughly before you go to a place that you don't know. Quick pro tips, if you're going to a place, look on Google Maps so that you know the exact place where you're going to, not just the trail. Because technically we're on the right trail and in the right area, but just not at the right lookout spot. So yeah, kind of sucks, but <laughs> Oregon is sticking to, to its standards. <laughs> I feel bad for Oregon because it is a beautiful place. We just have had the worst luck. So needless to say, we will be back at some point in our life. Just this trip has not been too good to us. That's the spot over there that I wanted to go to and then there's this beautiful outlook of these giant cliff faces along this beach. I'll put a picture in now of how it's supposed to look. <laughs> Another news, let me know what you guys thought of the little hiking sequence just using a still camera on a tripod. I wanted to try something new, something different and that's just something that's super simple and I love the look of it watching other people do that on YouTube as well. So yeah, if you like that let me know in the comments and I can do some more. Uh, this trail was pretty standard. It was more of like a nature trail that was very easy and flat. So I think if I had to do this like on the Fremont Lookout Tower when we were in Mount Rainier, that would have been super awesome. But yeah, let me know. Patrick's Point State Park and what an afternoon it's been trying to find a campsite. I think this was the fourth campsite we came to that wasn't full and I think we got the last spot in this campsite as well. It's just been such a mission and we're so tired from yesterday. I'm personally exhausted. Quinn still said you could have driven on a little bit more but I was like no I need a place to just relax and sleep and chill out for a bit so luckily we got this campsite and it's actually really nice and the best thing about it is that we are allowed to make fires here as well we're also finally in the state of california so made it all the way well not all the way down the west coast down to the bottom state but we're right at the top of california still so still quite a bit to go but yeah i'm very tired we didn't really do much today besides that hike in the morning and then drive here so that's the updates on the road trip just being tired it's not all fun and games how are you feeling i have like a headache i have to pee i'm really tired i like don't want to do anything but we obviously have to like make food and a fire and find the bathrooms and i just want to like collapse same we're doing well here needless to say the rest of the vlog is just going to be chilling <laughs> So finally, we have a campfire going, and dinner for tonight is just the easiest thing you can do. It's pasta with the three cheese, three cheeses, Trader Joe sauce. It's like a tongue twister. Three cheeses, three cheeses. <laughs> You're too tired. Too tired. <laughs> this vlog here as well um this light is also very bright in my face right now but it's been a day as you could tell earlier from the vlogs um thank you for watching once again thank you for joining along the journey we have just been hanging out by the fire and discussing what we want to do for the next few days because we still have 10 days until we have our permit for yosemite um and yeah, we're just trying to figure out like where we want to spend our days on the way there because 
it's like not that much distance to cover until we're there so we have like we're trying to decide where we're going to spend like two nights instead of one and just take it easy and at the moment we're thinking that lake tahoe will be a good fit because it's meant to be warm there and you can swim so we really need some summer sun sunshine and warm weather so hopefully things start to pick up for the better but yeah i hope this vlog shows you that not all these instagram and youtube road trips are like these amazing things that are perfect fairy tale pictures because it's not it's just it's not real life um and people get tired it's not easy doing this i'm still like so happy and so grateful and fortunate to be living my dream of traveling but it's difficult <laughs> um but still so worth it yeah that's gonna end today here thanks again for watching i'll see you tomorrow get out there and make it happen Oh, 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 oh,